Hello there, Harvest family. How are y'all doing today? It's a wonderful Monday, and uh, we are into our seven days of prayer and fasting at Harvest Renewal here. I hope you enjoyed our services yesterday and were encouraged by it. And Rifle had an amazing message he shared uh, of just, you know, being able to have the right perception of God. And that's so important as we enter into this time of prayer and fasting. I just want to take a few minutes uh, with you today, and I'll be doing that during this week to encourage you while in the midst of prayer and fasting. You know, Jesus uh, commented in Matthew chapter 6, I believe it's around verse 16. Uh, Matthew 6 is a is a powerful passage of Christ talking about prayer, actually. Uh, that is there where he begins to talk about the Lord's Prayer. And uh, so he not only talks about prayer, but he goes even further than that, and he begins to talk about fasting also, if you turn to that passage of Scripture. And you'll find out and see that Jesus said that um, that when you fast, there was a expectation from Jesus that fasting becomes a part of our everyday life, especially as we pray. There's a union of prayer and fasting together. And so um, I just want to share a couple of uh, reminders with you today as we begin to engage uh, uh, the Lord in this season. Um, I want to encourage you tonight, Monday night, uh, at our church, it will be our uh, prayer and healing rooms. And we invite you to come out and be a part uh, starting at 6.30 to be a part of the prayer time. Uh, be just something amazing happens when we come together and when we uh, are corporately together praying and lifting our prayers up to the Lord. Um, this week, what I'd like to do is to, is to talk with you about the nature of prayer a little bit. And um, Jesus uh, speaks a lot about it, like I said, in Matthew chapter 6, but also in James chapter 5, Toward the end of that chapter, um, it comments about our prayer life and what our prayer life needs to be, and especially this week as we're engaging God, to have a vision that our prayer life and our engaging in God can be this way as we move ahead. And it says here that the effective, effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And, you know, is that the vision that you have as you begin to engage with God, commune with God during the seven days of prayer and fasting? Do you see your, your, your praying as effective? Do you see it fervent? Do you see it availing much? Well, the Word of God tells us that that's how we need to see it. Exactly. And it speaks of a man in the Bible that he uses as an example as that that's exactly the type of prayer that he had. And this man was a man called Elijah. And it says in James chapter 5 there that the, the, uh, the prayer of this man Elijah was had a nature like ours, just like us, no difference. He wasn't a superhero of the faith, even though we look at him and we see him as that, but he had a nature just like ours. And they said that he prayed earnestly that it uh, would not rain, and it didn't rain for three years and six months. And then, because of the word of the Lord, he prayed again, and his prayers were effective. They were powerful. I love what it says here in, Matthew, in James chapter 5, verse 16. I'm reading it. It's in the amplified version of the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And it says, the earnest, heartfelt, Continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. Talks about it dynamic in its working. That is, that is, that's the type of prayers I want to pray. And I believe that you do too. It goes on and it says that the prayer of a righteous person, a righteous man, righteous woman is powerful and effective because it taps the unlimited resources and energy of God. I want to tell you, as Rifle shared on Sunday morning, that uh, God is 
amazing. He does all that which is above and beyond and everything you can imagine or think or whatever. So this week, I want to come to you, uh, hopefully almost every day, take a few minutes here and just talk about the pattern of Elijah and what can we learn from that and what can, how can that help us this week as we pray together. So I want to encourage you, one, don't stop, don't give up. You know, whatever the Lord's telling you in your fasting season, whether it's a couple of meals, whether it's a day, the type of fasting that you're doing, maybe it's just liquids, juices, maybe more of a Daniel's fast, which is more fruit and vegetables and things like that. Uh, whatever God tells you, maybe you're fasting certain things. Maybe you're fasting the internet. Maybe you're fasting games and things like that that you, you have on your your uh, your cell phone or whatever. Whatever it is, you know, just keep pressing forward, follow through. I believe this week is going to make a great difference in all of our lives and in, and in the life of the church. So we pray that you have a wonderful Monday, rest of the day, and uh, God bless you and love you so much, okay? God bless. Bye-bye.